Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Nelly aka Owl Tarot and today I'm here to bring you guys a daily reading. We're going to see what is coming towards you guys in love. We're going to see if this is new love or a past lover. We're also going to see what are the forward movements, their feelings, intentions and the outcome. Guys, before we get started, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender and tail. Reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. If anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start first with an oracle card. I already went ahead and shuffled. So I'm going to just get ready and pull a message for you. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What are the messages here for my collective? What can they expect for today? What's coming towards them? Sacrifice. And the third eye chakra. Okay. Victory and success. All right. So I got to be very honest with you guys. I just heard something is about to be made very clear to you. Okay, there could have been a situation where you found yourself sacrificing, okay, a partnership and an alliance here, a relationship. I feel that someone is getting ready to come towards you. The six for me, victory and success, it's the six of wands in traditional tarot. So moving towards victory and success. And with, again, another six here, we have um, the third eye chakra. So it's something is being made clear for you or clear, clear to you. Okay, where there was once a lot of mental confliction, okay, where there was once a lot of confusion, I feel that finally there's going to be some clarity brought to the situation because you do have number nine here, solitude. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up a lot on number three and number six in this reading, okay, because six plus six is 12, okay, two times what, two times three is two, six, I had, to, I had to count, guys. Sorry. So again, I keep on. I I see a lot of a lot of repeating numbers. Three plus three plus three is nine, or three times three is nine. But there, I see a lot of repeating numbers here. And look at one more. I gotta pull one more. Okay. Wow, guys. Okay. So look at there is a lot of there's a lot of forward movement choices and decisions. So today. Things are going to be made very clear for you, okay? There's going to be some clarity in a situation, material and spiritual prosperity, and there's a transformation, so there's a major change here. I can't stop pulling. I got to stop triumph and, and victory and success. A new beginning, a truthful new beginning here, and with the transformation, somebody here has changed. Something has changed in this connection, okay? So I, I do got to be honest with you guys. What I'm really getting here is heavy, heavy um, past person, okay? A heavy energy of a past person. All right. Um, and the reason why is because I so three the three in traditional tarot is what the three of cups, a reconciliation, a reunion, a celebration. The six is the six of cups energy, soulmate energy again, reconciliation, reunion, celebration. And look at with the ace of swords here, the triumphant success. I feel that someone's coming towards you. They're going to bring in truth and clarity to a situation. They've transformed. Something has changed here, okay? There's definitely some forward movement here, choices and decisions that are being made, material and spiritual prosperity. So if you were conflicted in regards to a situation in the recent past, some a relationship that for some of you guys, you sacrificed so much to be in and you had to walk away from this situation, well, guess what? This person will be coming back towards you. I just heard that all your sacrifices were worth the, the battle. Everything that you sacrifice is going to be brought towards you. It's going to be given back to you in three folds. Three folds, okay? The three, again, is being very prominent for me. So a situation that you felt that came to an end, okay, was never done. It just needed to be blocked because somebody here needed to heal from a ten of swords energy. I feel that the person that's currently on your mind, they've done the work here, okay? Somebody here has done the work and now they're stepping up to the plate as an emperor, Okay, reason is, is because this person is scared to miss an opportunity with you. They don't want to lose you to somebody else. Um, they don't want to have to fight here for you with the nine of wands energy. I feel that they're very mentally conflicted. Maybe even somebody told them, hey, um, collective is starting to date. Collective is going on a date tonight. So something has them very heavy in their mind and in their heart regarding you. What happened in the recent past here for my collective and the person that's on their mind? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. 
the death. So something needed to change. Something needed to come to an end. I feel that you did everything that you could to keep this connection together, Collective. You 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 sacrificed so much to work on this relationship. But ultimately, you let, you had to let it go. If you wanted any chance of a, 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 a new beginning, a passionate new beginning here, as much as it hurt, you had to let go of this connection. You felt like you were ripping your heart out of your, your chest. Ace of Cups in the reverse. But it was something that needed to come to an end. Something that needed to come to an end. Why did this need to come to an end, universe, archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians? Because somebody in this connection was not ready for it. They were not healed. There was a lot of betrayal, a lot of lies, and a lot of secrets, okay? Um, and after everything that you did for this person, you felt, you felt very betrayed. So you decided to move away from the connection. But your person had to grow up. There was something that this person had to transform into. They had to do something. They had to change. In order for them to be able to keep this connection, they had to change. What is this person's current energies towards my collective universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians? The strength in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups. So this person is in this energy where they're starting to lose their shit. Okay? They need to talk to you. They need to apologize to you. They do not want to be alone. They're going to be very, very persistent. I just heard that this person's going to be up your butt coming out your throat. Okay? Everywhere you turn, you're going to see this person. No lie. Okay? And the reason is, is because they're trying their hardest to get back into your good graces. They're trying their hardest, look it, to get back into this lover's energy, to come back towards their soulmate, have this connection once again. You're dealing with somebody here who wants and will do anything collective to have this reunion and reconciliation. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What are their next moves towards my collective? What is this person's next moves towards my collective? The Ace of Swords in the reverse with the Queen of Cups. And the Judgment. Okay. I feel that this person is going to do whatever it takes for you to listen to them. They want you to hear them out. They want to bring some clarity here. Um, Eight of Swords energy. Okay. Wanting, wanting you to forgive them for their past, for their past lies, their past blockages, their past... Um, indiscretions they want to be emotionally available to the situation with the judgment here i feel that this person has made a choice look at two of wands to remove any and all blockages so if they were dealing with a bunch of toxic friends family members or behaviors this person is releasing that because they want to balance things out with things six of pentacles they want a balance equal give and take here what is the outcome in this situation for my collective the four of swords in the reverse so this person is wanting to revive this connection Wanting to come towards you with the moon here. Open up emotionally. Tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. King of Pentacles, step up to the connection and be a stable King of Pentacles that he or she should have been. The Nine of Cups energy, they want to bring in wish fulfillment. What is the outcome of this situation for my collective and the person that's on their mind universe? The Two of Cups, they want to reunite and reconcile. They want to work on this connection. They want to move forward with you. Collective definitely expect communication from this person today, okay? Because they do want to make amends. They do want to resolve the situation. They do want to bring justice to this connection. Again, I'm seeing very heavy three and six. So this person is going to be pursuing this reunion and reconciliation very heavily. They view you as an empress, okay? They want to open up emotionally. I already have the queen of cups on the, on the, on the, on the board, so this is a, here she is. This is a divinely guided connection. This person wants to offer you their cup and they want you to turn around and accept it. Okay. They view you as a soulmate. They want to stable new beginning. They want to get back into a higher level of commitment and balance things out with you. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you're currently in separation, this person's coming towards you because they want this connection. A very obsessive want this connection. What is the final messages here? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Let your friends help you. So if you're unsure whether or not you want to accept this person, get some advice from your closest friends and family members. The people that you know that you can truly, truly trust, okay? Um, they'll tell you the truth about the situation. I feel that you have a handful of people that will tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and you can always trust their advice. So make sure you talk to them. Stay optimistic about your love life. So if you do choose to give this person another opportunity, you got to stay in a high vibrational energy. Stay optimistic. Don't all... all automatically go into this negative uh, mindset this negative energy because the truth of the matter is if you're really gonna you're really gonna entertain this person you want to give them 
you want to give them the time. You want to make the effort. You really want this connection to work, okay? Wedding, hoo, hoo, hoo. This situation involves marriage. So somebody here is definitely going to be marrying this person. If you are already married, there is a renewal of vows that are going to be happening here. Love yourself first. I feel like you've been really, really focusing on yourself, okay? You've been really making sure that um, you are in, in this in this place where you feel comfortable with yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally, there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's about to happen with you and this person. And that conversation is going to lead into a reconciliation. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.